I've been living my life twice. I've been having dreams telling me how my day is going to be. And it's not like my dream, my surroundings are exactly what's going on. A lot of the time it involves a person or an action that's very similar, but it's more like the feeling in my mind, my mindset. Those two things are always on beat with the day. And it's getting weird. The dream I want to talk about is actually one that I had two days ago. And um, I'm going to talk about the other one I had last night and how oddly similar it is. With this dream, I was feeling good. And uh, as I approached this mountain that had this city around it, there was this purple mist in the air. And the mist was scary. I could tell that it was like a fear. And uh, as I, I knew that I wanted to get to the top of the mountain. So as I was going, I went through this like obstacle course and there was this pure fear there was nothing but fear in this mist and i just got completely encased in it to where i couldn't even see anything around me and i was just experiencing the fears the things that scared me i eventually came out and i came out on top of the mountain and i felt like a superhuman <laughs> you know i went through it all and that was it i wasn't scared of anything anymore i finally went through it all i was like whoa that's cool so woke up that day and i was like that was interesting <laughs> Well, that day I didn't have a good morning and I didn't have a good day at work. In a span of like two hours, I dropped a case, which damaged it, so I had to get repaired. And then I was, my lunch was wet. I mean, not wet, it was dry, so I tried to get it wet with some water and it slipped from my hands and spilled all over the sink. So I was like, well, there goes my lunch. And at the point where I was like, you know, can't get any worse because there were some other things that were hurting me emotionally. My boss lays me off. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yikes. So I got terrified and I just, I went home. I started crying. I started bawling. That like terror of just being exposed, just not for the first time, not being safe financially. That was the last thing I had really. It was equivalent to the fear that I was experiencing in, in that mountain, in that purple mist. But I knew I'd be okay. It was just, you know, the fear at the moment. Fast forward through the day. I go through the day. I go to sleep. I have the next dream that I want to talk about. And I wake up and it's beautiful outside. So I get up and I get dressed. I'm, I decide I'm gonna go on a run. I'm gonna go on a long run to a, a nearby viewpoint. So I get ready and I just bleh. I don't feel like doing it. And then I remember in the dream how as I was approaching this mountain, I got hesitant and I realized like, you know, that's, that's this, I gotta go. So I start running and I just go and go and go. And as I'm approaching the viewpoint, it's kind of on a mountain. And as you approach, it's by the downtown area. So the bottom part is filled with a lot of buildings. And I was looking at it, I was going like, huh, this is really similar, super duper similar. I start going on the mountain and I'm just going through like everything that I've been through <laughs> uh, up to this point, just all the craziness and how I still keep getting through it. I get to the top and it's like, that's it. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Blue skies, sun shining, nice breeze. And I was just like, holy bad word. It was so bad. And I realized that everything's going to be okay. I don't know how. I really don't. But I know, I understand that uh, deconstruction is needed for the reconstruction of something better. After realizing that the mountain that I was looking at in my dream was this mountain that led to the viewpoint, I just kind of was shocked. I was really shocked because this was a dream that happened two days prior and I had no intention of going on that run that uh, today or the whole fear thing or anything. The next dream though, the next dream I don't remember too much of. I do remember that in the dream I was talking with Sarah a lot here and there and that's kind of how today has been. It's just communication here and there. And uh, then she's kind of like drops off at the end and I go hang out with people. And that's exactly what's been happening and that kind of seems like the plan for tonight. I'm not necessarily nervous to go to sleep and I'm not necessarily excited, but I'm always curious. Sometimes the surroundings are very similar. If I'm with people in the dream, I'll end up being with people in real life. It's like the mountain it wasn't the exact same mountain, but it was very similar. But what is always on par is the feeling and the mindset. Those two things are always on par with my dreams every single time. That's what makes it interesting. That's what makes it fun. Sometime soon I wanna give out a way to have more vivid lucid dreams. I did it before, but I took down the video. 
but I want to do it again because I want to see if people can have the same experiences as me. I want to see if I'm not the only one because <laughs> if I if I feel like I'm the only one, that's going to make me feel so outcasted. <laughs> I'm going to be posting about the trauma healing thing because it has worked significantly. All right.